good morning dear students dear students you all are familiar that we are going through with our chapter 7 which is about main sectors of indian economy and main focus is towards the industry okay in this particular chapter we discussed about the meaning of industrialization in our previous video and the importance of industrialization okay dear student now today we will discuss about the impact of industrial practices on the ecosystem okay what are the different impacts of uh, those industries okay uh, which we have grown in the after the post uh, pre independence period and after the industrialization uh, process okay what is what are the impacts of those industries so we will discuss all those impacts in this particular session okay dear student so let's start with our today's topic now dear student if you talk about the impact of industrialization on ecosystem okay first of all you have to know about what is ecosystem in our previous chapter we already discussed this term ecosystem it means it is a system uh, which we have biotic and abiotic Uh, organize uh, organisms in a uh, in a in the nature or we can say that at a area at a particular area here we have all the living and non living organisms okay it's simply known as the ecosystem now impact of industrialization dear student as increasing industrialization and rapid economic growth have lead to severe environmental problems accumulation of waste through industrial practices is one of the major reason of in environmental problems okay we all you all are familiar that whatever uh, uh, waste generated in the industry okay that particular waste is decomposed into the nature directly okay so that's why that that waste or the material which is a by product of the industry okay they all are degrading our ecosystem okay or they all are harmful for our ecosystem okay dear student now several, uh, several industrial processes generate a lot of waste among the variety of industrial waste waste that are generated are okay that are generally if you talk about they are generally acids metallic compounds oils and certain complex synthetic material okay dear student now by mining operations they leave tilling rocks of little or no value as a waste okay now if you talk about the petroleum industries then oil refineries and petrochemical plants produce a mixture of waste okay these waste may contain hydrocarbons numerous organic acids and inorganic sulfur compounds so these are the wastes generated by the petroleum industries now if you talk about the manufacturing industries okay there are many kinds of chemicals uh, waste produced by the manufacturing industries okay often refers to as by product which i told you as generated by the industry and all those uh, industries which is basically related to the manufacturing their waste is directly uh, went into the uh, rivers or went to the uh, in nature okay which is really harmful for us dear student now if you talk about the automobiles then you can see that the pollution or the uh, pollution created by the automobiles is generally the air pollution okay and the noise pollution so the engine used in most motor vehicles do not burn all its fuel okay as a result in addition to emitting water carbon dioxide and various oxide of nitrogen these engine give off a number of incomplete burned waste products okay pollutants include carbon carbon monoxide hydrocarbon and aldehydes okay so all these are okay all these are the by product of the automobiles which is really harmful for our nature okay because with the with these different compo- compounds or with these all different uh, gases okay this is really harmful for our Uh, atmosphere or the, this is also the responsible for uh, global warming you can see the global warming increases in 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 during the this century or in during um, the last two decades so the reason is basically the by product or the uh, you can say the uh, or the uh, 
different chemicals or different uh, gases which is produced by the automobiles it's simply the reason okay now the next part is urbanization now if you talk about the urbanization it is also play an important role okay in uh, which impact our ecosystem like urbanization is a process of relative growth in a country's urban population accompanied by an even faster increase in the economic political and cultural importances of cities relative to rural area so urban air pollution is higher in developing countries okay urbanization is the reason behind the environmental degradation in a number of ways okay because due to urbanization people are migrated from rural area to urban area and because of increase in the population the demand for vehicles okay the demand for industries okay increases so because of this there are so many waste product or by product of these industries okay which is really harmful for our environment or ecosystem okay so that's why urbanization is also playing a role in degrading our and uh, ecosystem okay now the few points under this particular part is the first one is defacement of land it means clearing of land for housing industries construction of roads and dams lead to the loss of biological diversity forever and display lacks of people for their homes and jobs so this is simply known as defacement of land which is important for the development like if you see the example of tr dam then for the construction of tr dam or for the tr dam a huge area of old town which is known as this uh, old tr okay the whole uh, uh, the whole system of uh, uh, the whole ecosystem of that particular old city is totally you know uh, totally a loss for our uh, our ec uh, for our um, nature for our economy because all these are underground uh, uh, under the water okay so we can see that for the construction or for the purposes of industries okay and dams we human really is doing harm to our nature okay dear student next is due to increase in population it is now difficult to meet water requirements through the multiple water supply system next is there is a rapid increase in the demand for building material for construction purposes okay so this is also the reason uh, one of the uh, reason of urbanization like for housing purpose for industries purpose okay and for uh, for to make for construction of uh, buildings okay you need lot of raw material and for dot that raw material okay you exploit the nature so that's why this play a role in in degradation of the ecosystem next is excessive use of natural resources have considerable damage the ecosystem okay the next point is deforestation you all are familiar with this particular point which is known as deforestation deforestation refers to the removal or destruction of the forest cover by an area there are many causes responsible for deforestation the first one is constructing dams has result in erosion of more and more river channels and land on both side of various rivers okay next is forest wood is also used for cooking lightening and heating purposes okay so that's why deforestation also play an important role in degrading the ecosystem next is many industries are based on forest for example paper furniture uh, furniture plywood uh, drugs etc are based on forest so that's why we are destructing okay we are pro, uh, we are uh, damaging our ecosystem okay by extracting all those from the nature next part is effect of deforestation okay now what are what are the effects of deforestation the first one is deforestation helps to maintain the temperature at a lower level and prevent it from rising so deforestation leads to a rise in temperature okay because of de uh, deforestation we cut lot of tree and when trees is, are not present when trees are not there then it simply rise the temperature of the planet earth because of lack of plants and trees okay dear student 
now the second part is when large area of forest are destroyed then there will be less rainfall on the deforested region okay it simply represents that when large area of forest are destroyed okay then the rainfall is less because you all know about you all know, uh, know the you all are familiar with the uh, rain cycle okay rain water cycle so for that particular rain water cycle for the evaporation of water vapor we must need the forest so because of the lack of forest rainfall is really less okay now deforestation causes soil erosion okay because all the soil were hold by the roots of the trees and plant and in deforestation if you cut all the trees and plants then the holding capacity of the uh, of the soil of the root to the soil is decreases so that's why deforestation causes soil erosion okay dear student our next point is spoilage of landscape okay now in this point that disposal of industrial solid waste is a major source of soil pollution okay you all know are familiar with the soil pollution like industrial waste, uh, waste are mainly discharged by by mineral mining and paper mill sugar mill fertilizer manufacturing units iron and steel plants mining complexes are spoiled by heavy metals like cadmium zinc lead copper uh, arsenic and nickel okay not only industries households to contribute a large amount of solid rubbish in the form of domestic waste like food food scraps vegetable remains okay packing material paper ash plastic etc so these waste spoil the landscape and also reduces the area on which children can play so the soil on which this waste is thrown become toxic in nature so all in all the place becomes unhygienic and loss its beauty and usefulness so that's why so by these different ways we are spoiling our landscape okay which is really harmful for our nature or our ecosystem because of this the fertility of the land land decreases okay the beauty and the usefulness of that particular land land is decreases okay dear student now next point is our pollution dear student pollution may be described as any addition to air water soil that threatens human life or other living organisms okay anything okay any material or anything which is harmful or which destroy our air water and soil it's simply known as pollution okay it can also be defined as unfavorable change of surroundings okay dear student which take place mainly because of human activity so pollution is mainly of three types air pollution water pollution and soil pollution okay substances causes pollution are called pollutants so always keep in mind that we have three type of pollution air pollution water pollution and soil pollution and those components or substance which cause pollution is simply known as pollutant okay now we will discuss these pollution pollutions one by one the first one is air pollution you all are familiar with this particular concept of air pollution that there are so many industries automobiles are responsible for air pollution because they produce so many toxic materials and gases okay like so2 no2 co2 etc so one fifth of the air pollution is caused by chemical plants pulp and paper mill sugar milk etc cement factory produce a huge amount of dust okay so pollution from discharge gases of vehicles account for about 60% of the air pollution and in metro cities it is up to 80% okay dear student so the pollution by the vehicles is too high next is water pollution water pollution means contaminating kya contamination of water by foreign matter that deteriorates the quality of water it's simply known as water pollution it includes river pollution ocean pollution okay industrial wastewater is the major source of water pollution 
सो दिस वेस्ट वाटर मे कंटेन एसिड एल्कलीज सॉल्ट ओके पॉइजन्स ऑयल एंड इन सम केसेज हार्मफुल बैक्टीरिया सो माइंस स्पेशली गोल्ड एंड कोल माइंस आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर लार्ज क्वान्टिटीज ऑफ एसिड वाटर सो ड्यू टू दिस अवर वाटर पॉल्यूशन इज टेक प्लेस नाउ द लास्ट पॉइंट इज विच इज अबाउट सॉइल पॉल्यूशन ओके डे स्टूडेंट नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट सॉइल पॉल्यूशन दैन सॉइल पॉल्यूशन यूजली रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द डिस्पोजल ऑफ सॉलिड वेस्ट और सेमी सॉलिड वेस्ट इन एग्रीकल्चर प्रैक्टिस इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोसेस एंड इन सैनिटरी हैबिट्स ओके सॉइल पॉल्यूशन कॉज सेवरल डिजीजेज इन मैन एंड एनिमल डिजीजेज लाइक बैकलरी ओके डाइसेंट्री जिसे वी कंसिडर डिसेंट्री और कॉलेरा टाइफाइड एंड पैरा टाइफाइड फीवर्स कॉज बाई बैक्टीरिया आर ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम सॉइल टू मैन इन एनिमल्स डिजीज लाइक लैप्टोस्पोरोसिस ओके क्यू फीवर एंड एंथ्रेक्स आर ट्रांसमिटेड बाय सॉइल सो ऑल दीज आर डिफरेंट डिजीज विच इज ट्रांसफर बाय सॉइल टू ह्यूमन और एनिमल ओके डियर स्टूडेंट सो दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे इन अवर नेक्स्ट सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ पॉल्यूशन ऑन ह्यूमन हेल्थ एंड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मेजर टू मेजर्स टू प्रोटेक्ट द इको सिस्टम ओके डियर स्टूडेंट सो टिल नाउ स्टे सेफ स्टे हेल्दी ओके